Robert says, uh, oh, that is all right. Yeah, and he says, uh, to show my unwavering loyalty to you, my lord, I have this gift for you, this winter feast. He says, ah, uh, a fine cloak Christmas. indeed. Oh, I give him the head, actually, not the cloak. Oh, you give him the head? He says, ah, a fine head indeed. I shall mount it beside all of the other ones. Oh, and I yes. dedicated uh, my victory in your honor to uh, Lady Jenna. Ah, the Lady Jenna. Perhaps in a few years, he, he just starts like looking around to his wife, and she nods. He says, perhaps this year we should speak more closely about Lady Jenna. I have been <clears throat> concerned as of late. Many men have begun to pursue her, men that I do not consider worthy, but you are a notable knight indeed, sir. We should talk I'm further. honored that you would think me, think of me as such. Seek and me out uh, he... during the year, and we shall speak at greater length. But, in the meantime, I do happen to know that a certain young lady is looking for a husband. One that I could offer you. If you seek solace during these winter times, perhaps you might... <clears throat> Settle down with the Lady Eloise. I, you know, I can't recall who used to live in that manor by Amesbury, but she does present the proper paperwork. She is the rightful heir to the house. Robert, uh, he says, I've received other offers also this year, my lord, but I'm afraid I'm still yet not married, not yet ready to marry once again. I think he Perhaps, like slaps uh, you on the back. He's like, "Ha ha! Of course, a fine <clears throat> specimen such as yourself has received many offers." Ah, uh, well, I but suppose you'll want yet, to uh, bank that plus one towards your yeah. future courtesy rolls. Then. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Huh? How many bank do you have right now? This your I first? Have, I no, I've been banking them since. Uh, I just rolled them just for the heck of it, uh, and I've succeeded in all. Since okay, my last well, day. Make, make sure you know how many bank you have. Cause I have. This is the third one I have bank. Okay. Because cool. uh, she died in 488. And then we had three. This is the third year since then. Yeah. Right. Uh, anybody else want to make courtesy rolls? Or... Aurelius will. Uh, okay. And just remember, you guys can always attempt to marry below your class. If you'd like. Mm -hmm. Or ask Earl Roderick for an immediate marriage. Always a possibility as well. So, Aurelius will present himself. Bucks up horribly. <laughs> well, Oops. let's see. Well, no, he doesn't screw up. Okay, yes, you present yourself, and you get much the same spiel from uh, Roderick. He's like, ah, oh, Aurelius, it's good to see you. Your Knights of the Red Cross, I'm afraid my French isn't as good as my wife's. Uh, you know, Countess and all. But uh, these Knights of the Red Cross seem to be a very popular idea around here. It has made you somewhat more endearing towards the ladies. They are <clears throat> seeking you out from afar. No one of <clears throat> unusual standing as of yet, but perhaps if you bide your time, you could marry quite high indeed. I am glad of the news, my lord. Of course. Continue to serve the kingdom, and perhaps I shall have an officer position for you soon. With Sir Ameg and Sir Eled's dead, and Sir Lycus preparing to retire in his old age, we shall require new officers for the court. It would be my honor to serve you in whatever capacity I can, my lord. That is a good answer. And, Trump, you're also banking a courtesy roll? Or yep. are you trying to find a wife? Nope, he's banking the courtesy okay. roll. Yeah, you get much the same. He's like, ah, Sir Trumpet. Yes, I've heard of how you killed a shit ton of Saxons this year. <laughs> now, I, I've heard Sir Robert killed few more, but none were as famous as your blow on Sir Duke Gorlo. Yes, that has made you somewhat famous throughout the kingdom. I've heard Duke Brastius himself offered you a spot on the king's bodyguard. No, he actually never did. You, you, I you know. never got onto I that. Know he didn't. <laughs> he didn't. He has not. But, but he did mention that he was looking into you. 
Well, he mentioned that to someone else. I, yes, I know nothing I know. of this. There are rumors around, and that's why it's itching your ears now. Mm -hmm. How do you feel now knowing that you're being sought after for the Kingsguard? Huh? Is that something you'd, you'd be interested in? Yes. Uh, uh, really? So Interesting. John Pure works for his own fame, he, but he bides his time. Oh. I would point out that you would only be going into battle when the king goes into battle. Hmm. There wouldn't be anywhere near as much killing as you're used to. Uh. Of course, those periods of killing would be against some of the toughest foes around. Hmm. Basically, imagine any tournament with Jean-Claude Van Damme in it. <laughs> <laughs> going to be all the baddest dudes. Baddest dudes around. Yeah, of course. Okay, um... Is anyone having children? Remember, uh, having children is great. It means that if you die, there'll be someone to take over your character. Uh, if you would like to hire a wife, concubine, lover... I have a wife. Not a wife, but if you want to hire a concubine, lover, camp follower, or some woman you encounter during play, you can keep them as a kept woman for one pound a year. You can have as many of those as you like. You only have one wife, but would anyone like to have any kept women? I think I had one just like for a short duration, half she died. Over, but the... Yeah, she died. Oh, she died. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. Yes. <laughs> like most of. They get my half pound back. She died after having sex with you. <laughs> Did I have my half pound back? <laughs> Is that enough? <laughs> Okay. That was last year. That that happened last year, not this year. Oh, get was your that money last back year? because she died at the end of the year. That's not how money works. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she died. Money me... just doesn't disappear. <laughs> you sound in like a also, by the way, sorry. I when, when I succeeded at my role for um, for for the weather, um, both my states uh, made six pounds each. Yes. Was that what happened? Yep. Okay, good. And I paid for one night's upkeep as well. So that's four pounds, I think, we yes. decided if he's a bachelor knight. Yeah. Okay, cool. Okay, so... You're maintaining Sir Hendrix as a bachelor knight on your right. household. So, and one for my steward. Okay, got it. Cool. Is Sir Hendrix still alive? Yes, of course, he participated in the tournament. Yeah. He finished quite well, actually, for his age <sighs> and equipment. Um, okay, so no kept women. Anyone who's married can now make the children roll. With their wife. Or as they call it, the uh, Anash roll. <laughs> <laughs> a child that, born for you, it. Sir Sasha. Roll 86. Glorious day. It's only called a Robert roll when you're trying to murder your wives. <laughs> you have a male child. Excellent. Bravo. Fantastic. For I you, hope sir. he will have him properly baptized. Of course. <sighs> You, you do it at his church, as a matter of fact. <laughs> I think that would be pretty cool to go to your best friend's church and have him baptize you for your whatevers. Uh, anybody else married, having children? Is it really just Sir Sasha? That's right, all three of you just bank courtesy rolls, so you aren't married. His name will be Elf. Okay, uh, each of you must now roll a d20 for each child you have, which is going to be a lot. Even Trumpert has a child. Two. Uh, Two to take care of. He doesn't have any children, he does. Right. On a 1 to 2, the child dies. On a 3 to 10, the child is ill but lives. And on an 11, more the child lives. Even newborn children must roll on this. Uh, everyone's looking fine so far. Hoist lives. Sasha, you're good. I think that uh, Robert has a ton of rolls to make, right? <laughs> yep. Everyone lives. Peanut butter jelly time. Right. How old are your kids now, Robert? I feel like they're like six, maybe. No, man, they're not that old. They are. I'll tell you how old they are. Where are my people's people's Sermon's kids? son is already five. Oh, my sons are five years old, and my daughters are. What year are we? Four ninety one. Four ninety one. Yeah. So my daughters. Oh shit, dude, I think I've done this. I haven't aged them all properly. Yeah, so five years for the sons, 
I have a daughter that's uh, three years old and a daughter that is two years old. Okay. All right. Cool. <clears throat> okay. Let's do family events. Each of you must roll a d20. Out of jelly time. And a marriage. Okay, Aurelius, you have a death in the family. Roll another d20. It is your father. Well, he's already dead. Roll again. It is your aunt. You have an aunt. Um, I have a... I mean, I assume I probably do. Okay, well, you don't anymore. <laughs> you don't about anymore. It, he's dead. Uh, Trump, Kurt, you have a marriage in your family. Roll d d20. <laughs> It is your cousin. You have tons of fucking cousins, man. I uh, well, yeah. Three, yeah. one, two. Guiana's tech is. Uh, I've got Guiana, Karina, Corin, Finor. Okay, let's say it's Corin. Okay. All right, yeah. Robert. You have a marriage in your family as well. Let's see who it is. It is your brother. Do you have a brother? Yes. Excellent. He just got married. Okay. And, uh, Sasha, roll a d20. The news this year says that you cheated at the tournament. There is a rumor that you cheated during the hunt. Cheated to get stabbed. Yeah, there's... There's... I cheated to get that game, yes. No, I got it, okay? The rumor is is that you were, you know, like, hunting, right? And you were using some sort of, like, illegal bait or trying to get magics. And as a result, you were, like, mauled by the, the, the evil rabid bear sent by the fairies. Well, evil dire elk sent by the fairies because you were trying... Dying. That's the rumor. It's the rumor, okay? It's not true, but people speak of it behind whispered ears. I'll tell them of true fairy lore. Really? Because you are you the only person in the party that doesn't have a two in their fairy lore? Yes, I I am actually somewhat skilled in my fairy lore. I can tell them what I know about truth. The the truth of fairies and how they would not. They might do just it. think you're lying to protect themselves since yeah. all of them have two fairy lore. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, training and practice. <clears throat> you all gain one of the following three things. 1d6 plus 1 skill points, max of 15. Gain one point in a skill, max of 20. Or improve in tribute, trait, or passion. No trait can be increased over 19, and no passion can be increased over 20. If I don't increase my sword, I'm going to die eventually. So, what point during the uh, we all die? Eventually. This thing, do we increase our uh, honor by our uh, passions over sixteen? At the end. Okay. It's the last step. Mm. Uh, any wives that you have also gain one d three extra skill points to distribute. So I guess cool. that's only going to be for. As a wife. <clears throat> hmm. And it can go in any skill? Yep. Above 15? Any hmm. skill at all. Uh, she's going to be a, quite the industrious woman. Really? Industry? Yes, she's a cook after all. I would have gone with stewardship, but that's just me. <clears throat> I feel like nah, the stewardship's she's a... super bad. It's a 12. She's a cook. That's what she's there for. Was there a rain of winter stream? Yes, I'm sorry. I didn't catch your, your stuff. Flash 3389. Um, there was a rain of winter stream last night. Yes. There was a mummy's mask on 528. No, we actually skipped the mummy's mask this week. Um, and the last time, too. 
been a while since that one's met. Mm -hmm. Should be back over the next two weeks, though. Um, does everyone have their skills done? Yep. Nobody's still yeah, doing it? Yeah, I kind of got screwed on my roll, but okay. Yeah. I wish it was just a flat five that you could get. Like, oh, come skills. on. Uh, uh, glory yeah. to the random chaos dice, bro. Yeah. Keep it real. Okay, speaking of glory, uh, you guys have recorded all of your glory from play so far. Yes. None of you have mm -hmm. any unique honors. Uh, make sure you have your conspicuous consumption, any money you spent, you get right. glory equal to that. Now is when you begin adding all of your passions and traits of 16 to your... Uh, am I missing one there? No, it's just passions and traits that are above passions 16. Traits, yeah. Add that number to your total glory. Done. Did any of you pass a 1,000 glory barrier this year? Yes. Yeah, Sasha has as well. All right. Let's see everyone's new glory amount. And anyone who passed the 1,000 glory barrier can increase a attribute, trait, passion, skill, or combat skill by one. Oh, nice already. So you hit 4,000. That's good. Yeah. Ha, huh, now 20 is not a major wound for me. <laughs> You're like, yeah, literally, fuck it. I can take so much damage. I could be hit by a truck and live. I'm gonna die of old age, though, pretty soon. <laughs> That works. Time gets us all in the end, right? Yeah. I want to put in a sword, I think. What is your sword now? 22. Still lesser. Yeah. He, I invested more in size than sword. Mm. Jesus. Mm. Wow. Grandma, you're as big as me. In a different way, not as strong. Aurelius, uh, you have broken the 4,000 barrier. You are now a notable knight. You are known by all in Logris as one of the best in Earl Roderick's service. And in fact, in Uther's kingdom. Most excellent. Indeed. Uh, who are we missing on the glory table here? Oh, yeah, sorry. Compute. Yeah, there we go. Did you break the 4,000 barrier yet? Nope. Alright, alright. You're close, though. You're close. Yep. Fantastic. I'm investing my skills in battle. So, just for the hell of it, um... There's no real reason for this, but Aurelius is just becoming more and more of a silver fox over the years, so oh, he's now appearance goodness. 20. Wow. You were regarded as one of the most beautiful men in Britain then. <clears throat> I like how the woman you're pursuing is widely regarded as one of the ugliest and fattest women in all of England. Wait. <laughs> the Lady Catherine. Lady Lady Iona is who I was pursuing. Oh, yes, of course, of course. Uh, Wait, I might be confused here. Let me look at my notes. Yep. Um, yep, you're right. You do have Lady Iona. Sure. Yep, yep. Everyone keeps ignoring Lady Catherine. I keep trying to throw her in front of people and no one's going it for it. happened once. She, she appeared once. She's appeared twice. What? Really? Yes, and her brothers are in Aurelius' service. I don't know what else I can do. Oh, man. You know what? I think it's time, uh, Aurelius. In the new year, there is a visit to you from Lady Indig. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She is now, like, considered quite old. 
Didn't she, like, dump Aurelius? Yeah, she did back in the day, but he's just so beautiful. <laughs> she is widely regarded as a noted lady. She is more famous than you, perhaps, but you have caught up with her uh, in many ways. She is now 47 years old. And she he's, is definitely looking to settle down before she dies. He's really not interested. Oh, okay, fine. Yeah, she tries to run some game. Um, Objection. You know what? I think it's time then. Like, she goes to you and, and, like, says something very quippy about praying with you, and you're like, nope. Uh, the next day, she is oh. at Robert's house. <laughs> wow. Uh, and she is steaming mad. But, uh, she actually comes for chat, and she's like, Wow, Sir Robert, I've been widowed twice. I'm just looking for a dashing young knight to keep me company. I know you're getting on in years, but you yourself are a widower, and I've heard that you are quite lustful. Yes, they tell me that you are constantly attempting to have sex with all of the ladies in court and failing horribly. <laughs> Is this true? She Robin says. says. She, so she says it like, <laughs> so it sounds bad, but the way she's saying it is like, is it true? Eyebrow raise. <laughs> so Robert says, yeah, I must confess, I, I am led by, I'm, I'm, I'm a man of many passions. She says, I am a woman of many passions. Perhaps we could unify each other. Wow. <laughs> I've been pursuing Aurelius for years, and I'm sure you know that. I believe you helped speak to uh, Aurelius on my behalf at one point, yes? Those many years ago. Robert nods. I do recall, though. I that... think it's time to just move past him. <clears throat> if you were to marry me, I could offer you all five of my manners. I maintain two of my own, and three of them are gifts with me until I die. All of them have knights enstabled in them. <clears throat> with five knights to call upon, plus your own young man. What was his name, Hendrix? That tasty treat. Yes, you would call yourself a banner at night, sir. Hmm. So he's like, Lady Indec, you honor me with such a proposal. And I must say, I'm quite tempted. But uh, I must he refuse. Says, ah, I yes, the butt. I have sworn not to marry again, or at least my heart is not in it. And I shall refrain from marriage. I She's just perhaps like, the what's love night. got to do with it, lad? But then I'm I just mentioned talking about that perhaps... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so she, she, like, goes away from your manor fuming, and she's like, why well, can it, I not find it, anyone to settle before down with? It, before before uh, she leaves, he says, but I would suggest that you, uh, that you young Sir, Rock, young Sir uh, Hendrix. He's a ma he's an ambitious <laughs> man of much passion. Keep trying. To... Remember oh, that would be awesome if Hendrix, like in one year, literally surpasses you, becomes a banneret, yeah, has more glory than you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. you know, considering well, he wouldn't get more glory. He'd only get a thousand glory from marrying her. It's capped, right? So yeah, but he'd still be pulling in all the glory from yeah, yeah, the sure. money that he'd be making off of five manners. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> Definitely, but he he he's totally pimping out Hendrix. He's just like Hendrix is a young man. He's you're trying to hold him. Your 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 squire. Yeah, but he's not my squire anymore. He's Sir Hendrix. Yeah, he's quite squire. skillful with his lance and all that shit. The more you end up I like I like how you're like all that shit. I I literally don't have the time to drop the <laughs> yeah. Throw yeah, so <laughs> something in there. <clears throat> and I say he fought very valiantly in the tournament. And only forced himself to bow out because out of uh, deference to me. I am certain that uh, 
he would keep she you leaves, far happy she leaves I could. midway through she's like Hendrix okay. what a, uh, uh, just, just walks away her shoulders are going up and down she's like ah uh, the two of you are really I said Robert you so and so you non knights you not gentlemen and just wanders away very angrily better luck with someone else Okay, uh, we lost Karama. I'll try to call him back. Hmm. Well, we're entering the year 492. I think we've got about a half an hour left, so we'll go ahead and do that. Wait. Port is held in Tintagel. Of course, the castle you've been assigned to stay at. The special guests this year are... <coughs> Igraine, now pregnant with the king's child, and her three girls, Morgaz, Elaine, and Morgan. There is an Irish king in attendance. If you know his name, he is simply looked upon as the Irish king, much in the way that someone would look at a potato and say, that is a potato. <laughs> Remember, people in this period really hate the Irish. They really hate a lot of people. Yeah, but especially the Irish. Because Irish are poor, they go into battle with no shoes, and they fire bows. A coward's weapon. Uh, also in attendance is King Nantiliod of Estragales, uh, who is attended to by his chiefest of knights, Sir Elaine de Carlion. The heroes of Terabel, which include yourselves. King Lot who has been uh, given to the Lady Morgaz, King Uriens, who is King Lot's good friend, and King Nentres of Garloth, who is given to marry the Lady Elaine. Wow, I cannot get Kroama back in this call. One second while I try to check what the technical difficulty is here. Do 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 do, 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 do. I don't know. I tried adding him the call. It's not working. Can someone send me a message in Skype real quick? Yeah, sure. He is not uh, in the roll 20. I almost wonder, since we've lost him and we're kind of towards the end of the night here, if we might just want to call him here at the beginning of 492. Yeah, we could do that. So what business do we need to talk about going into the next year? Um, I think someone wanted to visit somebody else. I have notes here indicating so, that Sir Robert would like an introduction to Sir Selsbon and the Lady Leda, correct? Well, he had said that he would meet her. Yes. But, uh, yeah. It's an introduction. So, yes. You yes. don't have to marry her just because you... No, I know that. Her. I just okay. said, yeah, that's what I'm saying, yes. I agree. Anything else you guys would like to do? Aurelius is interested in perhaps, well, two things. He'd like to meet and discuss with uh, Sir Leo how we might better, perhaps a quest we might undergo in order to uh, better um, further the aims of the Order. Excellent. And then... Um, He's also interested in whatever he might do in order to help uh, win the interest and favor of Lady Iona. Okay, let me just get this down here. You also want to... Trumpert, got anything on the menu? Nope. Not Internet right. went crazy. Sorry about that. Just killing Saxons. Have Robert take credit for it. <laughs> stuff. Did I miss anything after the Adwin thing? Uh, no, it was a lot of Lady Indig. Indig. Uh, yeah, trying to get with a number of the party members, all of whom turned her down to her. My, my, uh, my brother, actually. He's unmarried at this time. Yeah, she's looking for a young knight, not your He is brother. a knight. Yeah. And I've tried to whore out, boy, oh, Hendrix. 
You what? got. You got. Dude, listen, if you're happy. gonna get with her, you gotta have a lot of APP, if you know what I mean. Okay. Yeah. You need that appearance stat. Yeah, I got. I got sixteen. 13, though. I've got thirteen. Yeah, Aurelius has twenty. I'm more beautiful yeah. than Robert. Robert I have ten. He's decent looking. He's not great looking. Trumper, but... would you be open to a union with the lady Indeg? Yes. I see. Okay. You'd be swimming in money, man. Yeah. Um, yeah, so in her fury, having heard that you are uh, jealous of Sir Robert, she goes to you and immediately proposes marriage as like a revenge tactic. I instantly accept what Trump Yard wants to say. Very man. well, Trump Yard. You gain the following things. You mark down, you have a wife, Lady Indeg. Uh, she has a 20 industry, a 21 stewardship. She's Holy 47 shit. years old. Uh-huh. He has an appearance of eight. <laughs> I'll get you a more complete stats uh, before next week. But you also gain some pretty cool stuff. Like five knights. You gain permanently two manners. Two more manners. And you gain three more until the death of your wife. And wait, how? And let's see. Do I get the money from these ma- any of these manors, or yes. do th- okay? But I still have to pay all these knights, like like with Anasha. Oh, no, yes, you have to pay this. for no, no. Actually, it's the other way around. You don't get any money for these okay. manors, but because these manors are so prosperous, you get two pounds of income per year. Fourteen go an extra fourteen gory a year. That goes so. to her. Uh. That's the amount of glory she gets for maintaining those. Mm-hmm. Uh, you get an immediate 1,000 glory for marrying her. Yep. She gets that as well and becomes the second most prominent woman in the county. Second only to the Countess Ellen. And I am now second uh, next to Robert. Yes, you break the 4,000 barrier and thus become a noted knight. Known to many and all throughout the land of Salisbury and Logres. Mm-hmm. Uh, you have five knights... At your calling, and we already know they are called the Dog Knights, as they are at her beck and heel. Woof, woof. Your wife will be expecting you to attempt to have children with her every year. Okay. <laughs> Often. <laughs> um, let's see what else you have. You might want to come up with a name for the Five Knights. I don't think I ever named any of them. Uh, and you get two of them until forever. And three of them until she dies, and then they revert back to her family line. She's not going to die unless you kill her. Robert style. She, her stats can erode every year. She's past the age of 35. Oh, right, that's true. Right, she could die of stat loss, which is the common way women die. Or, you know, they get Roberted. <laughs> 10% chance every year to get roboted, man. That's pretty high. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, Sir Sasha, did you have anything you wanted to try over the year? Uh, I couldn't find my mother, so I think she's gone. She's old anyway. <laughs> wow. I don't, you, you didn't give me the old. chance to. I was going to go and try yeah, to save Yeah, you literally didn't you could have try time. Now. You can do it this year. If I can find her, I can. It's not like it's not like Sasha wouldn't. Okay. But. And uh, yeah, let me mark down in the history books now that Sir Trumpert has married Lady Indig. You, I believe, you can call yourself a banneret knight now, but that comes with some conditions. Yeah, I'll check I that. I think you have to maintain yourself at a rich knight level. Yeah, that's yeah. not hard. Okay. It costs like what? Eight or? Nine. Nine. Well, still. It that's not much. I mean, you tonight. can manage that easy. Even if I fail, I can manage that. Just looking here. Banneret, banneret. Your ransom is going to be fucking Having achieved banner at night, you get an immediate 100 glory. Oh, yeah. 
Uh, no more and I'm what I'm about seventy five away from breaking five thousand. Wow! Oh man, that's awesome. Okay, uh, you've yes, inherited well your land. Well. Blah blah blah. You fight through the knights. You have responsibility as a leader. When summoned to battle, you must bring all of your knights with you in any future battles. Mm -hmm. So you're going to need to track all of your knights, including any family knights you have left before they die. I strongly suggest you track your family so you can keep having knights so that someone can fight on your side. Uh, you must provide a private army pledged to obey you. A handful of household knights and sergeants plus three or more. You've got that. Your wife is more individualized. Got that already, too. You get 100 glory. Blah, blah, and what blah. page is this on, just so I can Page check. 134 and 35. All right. You must live appropriate as a rich knight. <clears throat> you are always seated higher at the table. Enter the room later and is served before lesser knights. You know what that means? You are now a step above Robert, even if you do not match his glory. Your shit is straighter than his is. <laughs> you do the pimp strut slightly better than he does. <laughs> okay. I feel like that's a good end to the year. Trumpier yep. has finally, finally passed his mentor. Congratulations, Trumpier. Uh... I feel like now he has to kill you. But, right before the blow lands, Robert mutters some cryptic shit and disappears, and just his armor and weapon is found on the ground. <laughs> Alright, I'm super tired. I feel like we made this session really silly. Hopefully everybody had fun. It'll be better yeah. next week, when I've had sleep. Trump it. What did you put, it, uh, put your uh, extra 1,000 into? Because you got two 1,000s this session, right? No, um, he's he's short of the five thousand marker. No, no, because he got a thousand for marrying her as well, right? He yeah, that is a thousand. Oh, right, oh, you did get didn't... another thousand for marrying her. That's a good point. Yeah, uh, that's how we got so close to five thousand. Yeah, so I've got one point, and that's going into sword as well. What's your sword, What's your sword at, now? at now? Twenty-five. Twenty-four. Twenty-four. I Damn. feel like so we're next... gonna have to have a sword tournament in like a year because the current highest sword holder seven years ago. Uh, Sir, G I think his name's Jarvin. Jarvin. Was at twenty-two. It was he, Jarvin. He almost certainly has higher now. I feel like it's time to like restock the officer corps now that everybody's literally dead, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> have a sword tournament to figure out who's the best around. <laughs> That's gonna be a thing that happens. I will make it twenty-five after I get that seventy-five war or well, seventy-two. Well, now that Robert's actually become uh, older, he's starting to, his interests are starting to change a little bit. He's starting to become a little bit more academic. So he's been studying battle and stuff. Mm. Yeah, maybe it was after his horrible failures. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And during that the period where everyone died. Again. <laughs> yeah. And then Robert took the credit for it again. Well, now Trump will probably lead all of us, right? We'll be in Trump Yard's unit. That's a good point. Hope you have a good battle skill there, Trump. Here, sixteen. He does, I think. Sixteen. Yeah. Excellent. Mm, I think not too bad. Best. All right, guys. We'll be back next week. Blah 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 blah. <laughs> have a good night. You too.